Hey guys, it's Nua Master, and today I have something really awesome to show you. This is a hexadecimal full adder. That's right. It takes analog hexadecimal input, adds them together, and produces one analog hexadecimal output. So I got I got it reasonably compact. It probably could be a lot smaller, but I didn't feel like spending ages on it. Um, it's also pretty slow, but I really don't care. It's my f first one. It's just a prototype. I might make more, I might not, depending on what I feel like doing. But let's see it in action. So uh, the inputs are grouped into two. So these two are an input. These two are an input. These two are an input. So these would be worth one. These would be worth 16. And these would be worth 256, because it's in hex. So, um, let's add 1 plus 1, because why not? And it gets 2. Uh, we have our carry in here. We can add, that just adds 1. Um, let's do something that causes it to carry to the next bit. How about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8, and then plus 8 should be 16 so it should be one of the next bit and there it is one of the next bit um, we can do 15 plus 15 which in hex that would be 1 e or um, 30 in decimal so 16 plus 14 on this one that would be 30 and carry in would add one make that 31 um, let's let's do a speed test let's carry across all the bits um, that, wouldn't, that would be on so we have 15 here 15 in the 15 16s and 15 256s add one and carries across all the bits and you get your output of 4096 which is the carry out um, do another another example uh, just how about something random uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 why not I don't even think that carries. No, that doesn't carry. But, yeah, you can see 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 5 plus 6 is 11. So it does work. Um, and then this should make it carry. So that'd be 15 plus 2 and then plus whatever that is. So 15 plus 2 would be a carry, but it also have one left here, since it'd be 17, it'd be 1 16 and 1 1, and then whatever's here, that it was a, what was it? Let's just make this 0. Um, yeah, now it's 17, 1 16 and 1 1. Uh, just turn these off. So, I'm gonna attempt to explain how this works a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm, it's gonna be a very good explanation because this is obviously really complicated. Um, here, let's look at a half adder. This is, if you know, if you know adders, you know what I'm talking about. This is a half adder. It adds the numbers and generates a carry, but it can't accept a carry. Um, so I can add 15 plus 15 here and get 1e, or actually it would be f plus f, 1e, um, and stuff. So basically it uses the same principle of addition that I explained in my other video with this, um, where you subtract over and over again and then subtract that from 15 to add it, like this did. This does the same thing, 
So you can see here's their 15, you're subtracting the number from 15, subtracting another number from 15 here, and then you're subtracting that number you got from 15 again, and that would get your output. The problem arises when you have a number greater than 15 adding together, because it would still output 15 here. It wouldn't turn this off and carry. So what you have to do is detect for that. So this here detects if there's going to be a carry. And if there is a carry, it carries out, and it also shuts this off, which turning that off makes it not output at all. And then whatever's left basically gets added. So we can have this, and since this is a strong carry signal, it would output here and get sent down there, and that'd be 14. And since there's two here, one, two, it subtracts one, which is necessary for this to work. Um, it's kind of difficult to explain why, but just trust me that it works. Um, I might do a better explanation some other time. But, yeah, that's... And then, um... Then I take this and basically make t two of them. It's really difficult to see in this, but here's the first one. It's reversed. The first one outputs. That's that would be that that would be the sum right here. This that is equivalent to that. And then we have another one going here. This is the first subtract thing like um like that one. And uh, so you you have your other half adder, and then here, um, here let me do it this one. Here you have your carry from this one, and you can see it combines with carry from the first one using this line, and outputs. This is how I carry in. Carry in. You only need to carry in one, so you need a signal of one because that's how the carry works. You can only carry one at a time, just like out inputting here. That's why it gets one. So what I did is I have this on by default, blocking a one signal from a hopper into the second input of this half adder. And then basically it just adds normally after that and carries out. Uh, that's the worst explanation ever. but you get the idea. It works. Uh, and people are bugging me on Skype. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Um, and hope to see you next time.